JB, I'm a French chef in Perigord and welcome to Cooking Caves. We're going to the spot, the perfect spot, in the middle of the forest, where there is supposed to have some mushrooms. I don't know, it was very raining, like during two weeks and the temperature was quite nice, so it's supposed to have mushroom everywhere just now. But I didn't shake it, so it's gonna be a surprise. If we get mushroom, it's perfect. So straight away we can start to look in the on the side like that, but we're gonna have to go inside this one. What kind of mushroom do you think you could find here? Here, here you can find a lot of mushrooms, but now it's good to find some, uh, I think you call it like chanterelle, the orange one. But it's not, it's not heavy in the forest, and it's, you don't feel the humidity. It's dry, and when the forest is dry, it's no mushroom. But we see, we check. Yeah. Anyway, if you don't check, you don't know. Not even babies, you know? Just looking. Are you sure if I was not here with the camera, you would find hundreds? I think you would give me the bad luck, yeah? Yeah, it's the camera. It's the bad eyes. Or if it's like that every time, it's better to stay home, you know? No. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the bad luck. Oh, man. You need to be careful in the forest, no? I found a big white one. Found my car. <laughs> That's the only thing we found in this forest. My car. Uh, we don't have mushrooms, so yeah, we're gonna eat potatoes. You know what I like is to make a mashed potato with shive inside. And we can make some pesto or whatever. I have some meat in my fridge, I can take it. Okay, so... I think it's almost 40 kilos in the bag. I don't know why it's so heavy. Because I take some heavy pan and everything very heavy. But it's a good one, so it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna work. Just some big spot to do before to. Oh fucking hell! It's very heavy. We are in a valley, in somewhere in Perigord, which is uh, the best part of France, of course, because it's where I'm born. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find two caves and to make a big dinner on the caves and cooking everything uh, with the fireplace. And yeah, maybe we can just uh, walk around and start to pick some herbs and see what we can find to make the dinner. Because probably my chef thinks, you know, to always clean it up and start to clean and then to cook. Chef knife. Save your life everywhere. I really love this place, you know. We used to come here like every weekend when we were kids and for so long time uh, ago, I haven't been to this place, and I think it's good to mix the the fact of to doing food outside, but also to to be in some place, you know, in kind of natural room. It's not uh, it's not outside. You are not out of nothing. Like you, you can stay in the cave. You are 
you have a kind of roof, you are, it's, very, it's warm inside. Also, we still have some stuff that we built when we were kids, like this, this uh, bench, like, uh, that's pretty old now. It's like uh, 15 years old and it's still there and uh, it's good to use it, like, you see, just to spend some time outside. In the middle of nowhere, in Perigord, you have the beautiful forest all around, you have all the, the sound of the forest. We are looking for wild garlic. If, if we saw wild garlic, wild asparagus and wild garlic, we make a fist. Uh -huh. oh, we, see to, we saw the, the chive there. Hmm. That reminds me something. But we can eat that, but I never tried it. I don't like to... If I don't try it, I don't eat it. Oh yeah man, that smells so nice. It smells absolutely like garlic. If the tube is empty, and it smells very strong like garlic and, um, and a bit leek, leek. That means it's like wild chive, you know? So basically you just can grab a handful of it, but I, I try to select them a bit. See that is very fresh, very green. I'm gonna take some of them. Just the head, like that. The freshest one. Okay. Okay, I think we have enough. Just go to clean that and, and let's go to the to the caves to make some food, light the fire and make some good food. Good food, good food on the program. You always take the biggest piece of wood in the forest? I try. This one is quite good. Okay, let's go. Be careful. Don't light it if you are not ready. You need to be ready. Finger it out like we can make like some uh, out of out of space mashed potatoes with some uh, because I bring some meat I have some veal to grill and uh, we make a pesto with some orti I don't know what the name of it pesto of greens green pesto. Do the chef out of the forest. Very finely, very thin. And the lemon juice is always good to keep the color. It's right the season of the garlic just now, so it's very fresh. You can very crush it. Well, you smash it because it's gonna break it up and all the flavor is gonna go out straight away. Like black pepper. Nice black pepper, nice. Those are salt of Guérande. That's salt de Guérande is a French salt, which is very, very nice. Not too salty, so you can put a bit. Espelette is from Southwest France. It's very flavorful. And after that, uh, we need to put some olive oil from Portugal. If you want to make like a paste. But also remember we're gonna put some parmigiano inside, so don't over salt it. 
because the parmigiano is very salty. So make thin slices like that. And then you're gonna chop them up. And that is going to make the paste. You see, you can cook, cook out of nothing. Okay. I'm gonna have to try this. Man, it's just amazing. It tastes so good. We're gonna leave it just for rest a bit. Okay, that's a kind of chimichurri pesto Perigord style sauce. Okay, now we're gonna boil some potatoes and, and have some beer to drink. So you see that's my grandmother's setup. You see, you put some bag on, on them and you just peel on it. If you want to make an out of space mashed potatoes, you need to peel it out of space. I think we're gonna put some wild chai on it, some olive oils, uh, some cheese. It's gonna be a bit cheesy. Like my grandmother. But she was so much faster than me. So much experience on it. What you want to hear? Just right there. We're gonna put like two garlic cloves on it. Give the nice taste to the food. Always garlic. In Perigord we are crazy about garlic. Crazy. There we go. Salt. Water is already a bit warm. Just cover it and leave it for about something like about an hour. I prefer it to cook like slowly. You can make like beef bourguignon, whatever, like very slow cooked thing. You can leave it for a night. You can do whatever you want. But I like this kind of side cooking, you know. It's cooking slowly and it takes the time. That is the perfect bubble you're looking for. Just perfect. That's gonna be like 20 minutes and ready to go. We're gonna cook the veal with some duck fat. This is the secret ingredient of the Perigord. But before that, we're gonna get ready with cheese, chive, uh, salt, pepper, everything we need to finish the potatoes, the mashed potatoes. So now we are in a rush. And same thing, chop it up, very thin, cheesy chive, oh, it's very dense, shit man, I drop some, so this is like a tender, tender veal, it's from the, the belly of the veal, it's very nice to grill, no pepper, you don't want to put pepper because it's gonna burn on the pan and it's gonna give some bad taste, only salt. You want this nice sound? Try it, try in some. Yeah, that's it. You're just gonna leave it, you don't touch it. Don't touch it at all. So now you have these cooked potatoes. They are perfectly cooked. So what we're gonna do is to try to find the garlic on it. Where is the garlic? Here you have one. Take out the skin. There you go. Put two on it. And the other one just disappeared. It's there. And this one. It's there. Because you want to crush the garlic in the same time. Then your potatoes. There you go. Oh, the pan is falling down. It doesn't matter. And then. That's a great chef, you teach me that. Just put some olive oil on it. Quite a lot. It's gonna give a lot of taste. Start to crush it, but you can already like season it a bit. Pepper. Always this little chili. Oh, yeah, nice one. 
Il y a l'autre mon oil. It's a bit thick, so you, you probably have to do it like twice. There we go. And come back to your mash. It's perfectly like just very like mashed potatoes, very tender, very juicy. This is your marinated, just warm it up, warm it up, gently warm it up. Just a tiny warm it up, you know? You don't want it very hot, but just temperature. You don't want it cold because it's going on the meat, but you don't want it hot. You don't want to cook too much the herbs. You just want a little, little heat on it. So we're just gonna drain all the fat inside of the mash. Better like that, maybe. Put it here. You have your mash, you have your meat, you have your sauce. That's it. Cooking caves. Veal with out of space mashed potatoes and I don't remember the name. Pesto.